Hi, it's Medina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to learn about conversational medley in the clinic. So it's between patient as well as the doctor. And for the case today is the common cold. But before I begin, for this video, I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. For those of you who still not clear yet, what is informal pronunciation please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation so our topic is about common cold this is the conversational malay after you've been called by the nurse to enter the doctor's room then the doctor will tell you please have a seat sila dudu sila dudu and even if they have your card which have your name in that they still need to ask you, what's your name, mister? So, siapa nama Encik? Oh, nama Encik siapa? Okay, siapa nama Encik? Oh, nama Encik siapa? This is to confirm that you are really the person and this is really your card. Sometimes they even ask the number of the identification card. Then the patient will say, Mr. Ali, Encik Ali. Then doctor asks again, Mr. Ali, how old are you? Umur berapa Encik Ali? Encik Ali umur berapa? Oh, berapa umur Encik Ali? So, this is all means how old are you? So, umur berapa Encik Ali? Encik Ali umur berapa? Oh, berapa umur Encik Ali? That's all accepted. And then, Encik Ali said, Umur saya 30 tahun, Doktor. Umur saya 30 tahun, Doktor. I'm 30 years old. Saya 30 tahun, doktor. Then, doctor started to ask the chief complaint. So, can you tell me why you come to the clinic today? Boleh bagi tahu saya kenapa encik datang klinik hari ni? Boleh bagi tahu saya kenapa encik datang klinik hari ni? Boleh bagi tahu saya kenapa encik datang klinik hari ni? Then the patient will say, Mr. Ali say, Saya demam. Saya demam. I have fever. Saya demam. You don't say, Saya ada demam. You just say, Saya demam. Then doctor asks, How many days? Dah berapa hari dah? Dah berapa hari dah? Sometimes they just say, Dah berapa hari? Oh, berapa hari dah? Some people really say like this, Dah berapa hari dah? Okay, that's all accepted for speaking. And the patient say, for this, already for this. Dah empat hari. Oh, empat hari dah. Then doctor ask again, is it continuous or intermittent? How to ask this in Malay? Berterusan ke, kadang okay, kadang tak? Berterusan ke, kadang okay, kadang tak? Berterusan ke, kadang okay, kadang tak? So that means, is it continuous or is it intermittent? Um, by the way, my example here is, is a very simplified Malay. Because this is how the patient communicate. Normally, they use very simple word. Then the patient said, Berterusan. Berterusan. Saya ada ambil Panadol tapi tak kebah juga. Berterusan. Saya ada ambil Panadol tapi tak kebah juga. So, it means, Berterusan. Saya ada ambil Panadol, tapi tak kebah juga. So, it means it's continuous. I did take Panadol, but the fever still not a bit. So, kebah here is the word when you have fever, then it become reduced, okay? So, basically this one, Mr. Ali, he took Panadol, but it's still not reduced. The fever is still there, it doesn't go away. And then, doctor asks, do you have thermometer at home? And did you record the reading? Ada thermometer tak kat rumah? Ada thermometer tak kat rumah? Oh, ada thermometer kat rumah? Ada thermometer kat rumah? Then doctor ask again, ada record tak? Ada record tak? Oh, just record tak? Record tak? Oh, ada ambil bacaan tak? Ada ambil bacaan tak? Oh, just ambil bacaan tak? Ambil bacaan tak? So, these are all acceptable. So, in English, normally you reply to this as like I did. 
But in Malay, you just say ada. Ada. 38, 39 degree Celsius. So in Malay, darjah Celsius, we don't really say that. We just say 38, 39. We should refer to the temperature. Then doctors continue. Selain daripada demam or selain dari demam. So basically, dari is to refer to the time or place but for Malays, for speaking, we don't bother about that. Then normally, we like to shorten. And then we started to use dari for everything for speaking. Even though it's not that correct. In this case, doctor asks, selain daripada demam or selain dari demam, ada apa-apa lagi tak? Ada apa-apa lagi tak? So basically, it means other than fever, do you experience anything else? Do you have anything else? And then Mr. Ali said, Cough for five days. Batuk lima hari dah. Batuk lima hari. Batuk lima hari oh. Dah batuk lima hari. Oh. Batuk lima hari dah. Batuk lima hari dah. Then doctor ask again. This is to identify is it the productive cough. Cough with mucus or non-productive one. Without mucus. So doctor ask like this. Batuk berkahak ke tak? Batuk berkahak ke tak? Oh, batuk ada kahak ke tak? Batuk ada kahak ke tak ada? Okay, that's all accepted. Then Mr. Ali say, no mucus. Tak ada kahak. Tak ada kahak. And then this patient like to be interactive. Like to elaborate more without asking. So Mr. Ali say, batuk tu mula-mula sikit-sikit je. Batuk tu mula-mula sikit-sikit je. So, Malay like to repeat normally, just to emphasize, doesn't really change the meaning. Tapi hari keempat makin teruk. Tapi hari keempat makin teruk. So, it means at first just started to cough a little, then the fourth day get worse. Okay? Patuk tu mula-mula sikit-sikit je. Tapi hari keempat makin teruk. And then he continue again. Nak-nak malam-malam makin teruk. Mungkin sebab sejuk. Nak-nak malam-malam makin teruk. Mungkin sebab sejuk. So you will wonder here what is nak-nak right? Because we learn nak is one. So basically it means especially at night. Terutama malam-malam. Terutama it sounds so formal. So that's why they say nak-nak malam-malam makin teruk. Mungkin sebab sejuk. So especially at night. Cough get worse, maybe because it's cold. And then, he continue again. Kadang-kadang batuk sampai sakit dada dan ganggu tidur. Kadang-kadang batuk sampai sakit dada dan ganggu tidur. So, it means sometimes I cough till I have chest pain and it disturb my sleep. So, he mentioned that this cough worsen and what it leads to. Okay, how serious is it? Basically, this patient tell doctor that how serious is the cough. And then doctor still not satisfied with the fever. So, she asks or he asks, Pasal demam tu ada rasa sejuk dan menggigil tak? Pasal demam tu ada rasa sejuk dan menggigil tak? Pasal demam tu ada rasa sejuk dan menggigil tak? So, it means about that fever. Do you have chills and rigor? About that fever, do you have chills and rigor? And then he said, no, only cough, fever and so true. Okay, there's another one symptom coming. Basically, in Malay is, tak, cuma batuk, demam dan sakit tekak. Cuma batuk, demam dan sakit tekak. Then doctor asks again, berapa lama sakit tekak? Berapa lama dah sakit tekak? That's also accepted. Berapa lama sakit tekak? Oh, berapa lama dah sakit tekak? Oh, sakit tekak dah berapa lama? Oh, sakit tekak berapa lama? That's all accepted. So, it means, how long do you have so true? And then he mentioned, since three days ago. Sejak tiga hari lepas. Sejak tiga hari lepas. Oh, some people just skip that sejak and just mention tiga hari lepas. And doctor ask again, dalam rumah atau tempat kerja, ada sesiapa? Tak, yang ada symptom yang sama. So, normally if you say symptom, sometimes patient don't understand. 
So you have to say what is that symptom. So doctor will say the mom sakit tekak, batuk. So basically dalam rumah atau tempat kerja ada siapa tak yang ada the mom sakit tekak, batuk. That is the same symptom. So it means in English in your house or workplace still anyone who has the same symptoms like fever, so throat and cough. And then this patient mentioned no one, only me. Tak ada siapa, saya seorang je. Tak ada siapa, saya seorang je. And then he again wanted to elaborate. This one I insert here, the cultural disease. So people here believe that if you go on the rain, if you wet in the rain, doesn't matter, it's just a little rain or it's really heavy rain, doesn't matter. As long as you get wet, even a little, then you will catch fever after that or have headache. I explain this in my later boost video. Please watch it. So basically, maybe it's acid rain, right? If you think about in scientific way. So, but that is how here people are afraid of that because they will get sick after that. So, the patient make assumption because of that, then he get the fever. So he say, masa hari saya start demam tu, saya habis basah kena hujan. Masa hari saya start demam tu, saya habis basah kena hujan. So on the day when I first start to have fever, I got all wet in the rain. Masa hari saya start demam tu, saya habis basah kena hujan. And then he mentioned why he's wet in the rain. Saya naik motor dari tempat kerja balik rumah dalam 20 minit jugalah. Saya naik motor dari tempat kerja balik rumah dalam 20 minit jugalah. I rode motorcycle from workplace to home around 20 minutes. So he basically mentioned to the doctor the precipitating factor. Of course, doctor have to listen and analyze, okay? And doctor asked again, when you have fever, do you think is there anything make it worse? In Malay, masa tengah demam, encik rasa tak ada apa-apa yang buat demam tu makin teruk. Masa tengah demam, encik rasa tak ada apa-apa yang buat demam tu makin teruk. So basically, doctor asked about the aggravating factor for the fever. And then he mentioned, tak ada macam tu je makan ubat pun tak okey. Tak ada macam tu je makan ubat pun tak okey. No, just like that. It's constant basically. Took medication also did not help. So no aggravating and no relieving factor. And doctor asked again, pasal batuk tu ada tak apa-apa buat dia makin teruk atau makin okey? Pasal batuk tu ada tak apa-apa buat dia makin teruk atau makin okey? Pasal batuk tu ada tak apa-apa encik buat dia makin teruk atau makin okey? So basically it means about cough. Do you think is there anything that make it worse or make it better? And then he mentioned, saya minum banyak air, batuk makin okey. Saya minum banyak air, batuk makin okey. So it means I drink lots of water and cough seems better. So he mentioned about the relieving factor for the cough. But again he mentioned, tapi malam-malam memang makin teruk sebab sejuk. Saya duduk rumah kayu. Tapi malam-malam memang makin teruk sebab sejuk saya duduk rumah kayu. But at night, it really get worse. I think because of the coldness, I live in the wooden house. So he tried to mention the aggravating factor. So for those of you who never try to sleep in the wooden house, especially in the village, it's really cold without the fan or without the aircon. And then doctor asked again, what about runny nose? What about runny nose? Macam mana pula dengan hidung berair? Macam mana pula dengan hidung berair? So basically, she wanted to know more about the runny nose. Then, this patient said, Macam tu je, tak teruk sangat. Hidung tak tersumbat. Macam tu je, tak teruk sangat. Hidung tak tersumbat. Macam tu je, tak teruk sangat. Hidung tak tersumbat. So basically it means just like that, not bad, no stuffy nose. Then, doctor just want to rule out, is it asthma? Because he said when it's cold, then the cough get worse. So doctor just want to rule out the important sign. So doctor asked, ada rasa susah nak 
nafas tak? Oh, ada rasa susah nafas tak? Okay, that's the same thing. Atau masa nafas tu ada bunyi. Atau masa nafas tu ada bunyi. So basically it means, do you have trouble breathing or wheezing? Wheezing, we just say bunyi masa nafas. And then he mentioned, tak ada, no. Then doctor asked again, ada sakit kepala? Do you have headache? Then he mentioned again, no, tak ada, tak ada. Then doctor asked again, kalau masa batuk teruk, kalau masa batuk teruk, ada tak sampai muntah? Kalau masa batuk teruk, ada tak sampai muntah? So it means when you cough severely, did you vomit afterwards? Then he again mentioned, no, tak ada. Then doctor asked again, ada naik ruam? This is because of the fever. So doctor watch out for the dengue sign. When I ruam, do you have rash? So naik, basically when something appear, okay? Something appear or flare up, then we call naik. Okay, ada naik ruam? Then he mentioned again, tak ada. Don't have. Oh no. When doctor asks again, this is also the, the dengue symptom. Ada sakit sendi tak? Oh, just ada sakit sendi. You have joint pain. And again, he mentioned tak ada. Tak ada. And doctor asks again, selain daripada sakit yang ada sebab datang hari ni, Encik ada sakit-sakit lain tak? Selain daripada sakit yang ada sebab datang hari ni, Encik ada sakit-sakit lain tak? Oh, Encik ada sakit-sakit lain, that's also accepted. So basically, this is trying to ask the underlying diseases. So other than the illness that bring you today to the clinic, do you have any other sickness? Do you have any other diseases? It's basically the meaning. Maybe patient don't understand. Okay, so doctor has to be specific. Not super specific, but specific enough for people to understand, for patient to understand. Doctor continue, macam sakit jantung, sakit paru-paru, cancer, like heart disease, lung disease or cancer. Then he mentioned, saya tak ada sakit apa-apa tapi masa kecil dulu saya ada eczema. Saya tak ada sakit apa-apa tapi masa kecil dulu saya ada eczema. I don't have any diseases but when I was young, I had eczema. For this one, need to be careful. Doctor still like need to make sure, is it? connection like asthma, allergic rhinitis and also the eczema. Normally they are like related. So again doctor need to out about the allergic rhinitis. Bangun pagi-pagi ada bersin tak? Bangun pagi-pagi ada bersin tak? So when you wake up in the morning, did you sneeze? But for this one about sneezing, people with common cold also sneeze. Okay, so don't jump fast into the conclusion. Bangun pagi-pagi ada bersin tak? Pagi-pagi ada bersin tak? Or maybe allergic to certain thing may also ask. So, you can ask like this. Ada allergy apa-apa tak? And you may as well ask allergic to any medication or not. Ada allergy apa-apa ubat tak? Ada allergy apa-apa tak? That's is in general. And then ada allergy apa-apa ubat tak? And then he mentioned to you tak ada. No. Doctor asks again, dalam keluarga, mak ayah ada sakit apa-apa? Dalam keluarga, mak ayah ada sakit apa-apa? In the family, mom and dad suffer any diseases? This is basically to observe is there any correlation regarding the genetics. And then this patient say, Alhamdulillah tak ada, dia orang sehat. Alhamdulillah tak ada, dia orang sehat. So, Alhamdulillah is thanks God. This Arabic term, but Malay like to use it. Diorang sehat. They are fine. They are healthy. And then doctor asks again, this guy, merokok tak? Do you smoke? Merokok tak? Sometimes, as a doctor or any healthcare workers, before you ask the Muslim, merokok tak? Do you smoke or do you drink? Minum arak tak? kind of sensitive a bit so if that person don't do that kind of thing they will like oh are you judgmental to me okay but somehow you cannot be so optimistic to people so you have to say like this minta maaf tapi saya kena tanya sebab prosedur minta maaf tapi saya kena tanya sebab prosedur okay merokok tak okay do you smoke no do you drink minum arak tak Then only you ask about the quantity. 
example, maybe involve with the promiscuity. So involve with promiscuity, you also you have to start with that. Minta maaf, tapi saya kena tanya. Sebab prosedur, ada banyak buat hubungan tak dengan lain-lain orang? Ada banyak buat hubungan tak dengan ramai orang? Ramai perempuan atau ramai lelaki. You mention that. So maybe for this patient, he just say tak. Sekali pun tak pernah. He said no, not even once. Sekali pun tak pernah. And then doctor ask again about the occupation. So when doctor ask you your occupation, it's not that he or she try to busy body. Like, oh, you rich or not? Okay, you high status or not? It's not like that. It's actually to analyze the your occupation which can relate to the diseases that you have. So what is your occupation in Malay is kerja apa? Kerja apa? Then this patient say clerk, kerani, kerani. Then again, doctor ask, are you married? Dah kahwin? Dah kahwin? Oh, kahwin dah? Okay, that's also accepted for formal Malay. Then this patient say, not yet. Belum lagi. Belum lagi. Then to clarify, doctor will ask again, do you have anything else you want to tell me? Ada apa-apa lagi yang encik nak bagi tahu saya? Ada apa-apa lagi yang encik nak bagi tahu saya? And then this patient say, tak ada tu je. No, just that. Then doctor will say, sekarang saya akan periksa encik. Sekarang saya akan periksa encik. So it means, now I will examine you. So after examination, so after examination, in Malay we say selepas pemeriksaan. This is formal word. Selepas pemeriksaan. So this is, patient normally like to ask, doktor bagi saya antibiotik tak? Kalau bagi-bagi yang kuat ya doktor? Doktor bagi saya antibiotik tak? Kalau bagi-bagi yang kuat ya doktor? So some patients like think that antibiotic really magical thing for everything. So basically this one mean, doctor do you give me antibiotic? If you give, can you give me the strong one? And then he mentioned his reason. Saya nak cepat baik. Oh, saya nak cepat sembuh sebab demam ni ganggu saya buat kerja. Saya nak cepat baik sebab demam ni ganggu saya buat kerja. Saya nak cepat sembuh sebab demam ni ganggu saya buat kerja. So basically it means I want to fast recover because this fever disturbed me doing my work. Then after examine and everything, then doctor come out with the diagnosis. Then doctor mentioned, sorry mister, this is just common cold. So common cold is part of the upper respiratory tract infection. In Malay, we call jangkitan saluran pernafasan atas. This is really common Malay. So normally we just say common cold. So common cold in Malay is sersema. Sersema. Then doctor mention again, saya tak boleh bagi encik antibiotik sebab antibiotik untuk lawan dengan bakteria. Saya tak boleh bagi encik antibiotik sebab antibiotik untuk lawan dengan bakteria. So basically it means I cannot give you antibiotic as it is to fight off bacterial infection. But this common code is caused by the virus. Okay, so doctor mentioned here, sesama ni sebab virus mungkin jangkit daripada orang terdekat, mungkin dari jauh tak sengaja. Sesama ni sebab virus mungkin jangkit daripada orang terdekat, mungkin dari jauh tak sengaja. This basically means this common cold may be caused by infection from close contact, maybe from far, indirectly. But this patient persistently, very persistent. Uh, some patients have mentally like, if this doctor give me antibiotic, then this doctor is very good one. They have that kind of mentality. So this patient persistently want to push the doctor to give. And then he mentioned, tapi tak apa je kan kalau bagi, manalah tahu membantu saya secara tak sengaja. Tapi tak apa je kan kalau bagi, manalah tahu membantu saya secara tak sengaja. But it's okay to give right, who knows it will help me indirectly. And doctor persistent tu. And doctor said, minta maaf encik kalau saya bagi bahaya untuk encik. Minta maaf encik kalau saya bagi bahaya untuk encik. Sorry, mister, if I give to you, it's dangerous for you. But of course, cannot just say like this, they don't understand. So, doctor need elaborate more. Macam ni, encik, kalau encik makan antibiotik masa tak perlu. Macam ni, encik, kalau encik makan antibiotik masa tak perlu. Mister, it's like this, if you take antibiotic unnecessarily, 
Nanti bila encik dapat penyakit yang bahaya dan perlukan antibiotik, antibiotik tu tak boleh lindungi encik sebab dia dah hilang kuasa. Nanti bila encik dapat penyakit yang bahaya dan perlukan antibiotik, antibiotik tu tak boleh lindungi encik tak boleh lindungi encik sebab dia dah hilang kuasa. So normally with the non-medical people, then the doctor will explain in a very simple way. So it means later on if you suffer any dangerous diseases, any antibiotic, that antibiotic cannot protect you as it lost its power. So this is a very simple way to explain. And then this patient listen to this doctor. Kalau macam tu tak apalah doktor, terima kasih. That's so, never mind doktor, thank you. And doktor say, sama-sama. You're welcome. Well, I guess that's all we'll lesson for now. Thank you very much for watching me. And if you like my video, you may support me on Patreon. And for those of you who's watching me right now, thank you very much. And till we meet again, bye-bye.